Let's take a look at what some of the different routes are run by wide receivers and what they are called. One thing to remember is that each receiver will probably run a different route on each play. So if you're a wide receiver, it's important to know which route you're supposed to run, and it is just as important that the quarterback knows every route that will be run for the team to have success. The simplest route is the one with the most names. The fly route, or the seam, or the streak, or the go is when the receiver simply runs in a straight line. You can see how this would allow the receiver to get behind the defenders quickly, particularly if he's fast. Similar to the fly route is the slant, which means that rather than running parallel with the sidelines, the receiver is running at an angle across the field. Next is the curl route, which is also called the hook or the button hook. And as you can see, it means the receiver will run forward and turn around. How far the receiver will run forward may vary. It might be five yards, it might be 15, or it could be any distance. As with all these routes, the quarterback will know how far the receiver will be running before the play too. So oftentimes you'll see a quarterback throw the ball before the receiver has even spun around. This way when he does turn around, he won't have to stand there and wait for the ball because that would give the defense time to block the pass. The next few routes are mirrors of each other. Here we have the drag route, which means that the receiver will run forward and then turn 90 degrees and run across the field parallel with the line of scrimmage. And just like we saw with the curl route, the distance that the receiver runs before he turns could be any distance. The opposite to the drag route is the out route or the out route. So rather than running over the middle of the field, the receiver will run forward and then turn and run out towards the sidelines. The next two are also similar. The first one is the corner route, and the corner we're talking about here is the corner of the end zone. So this is when the receiver runs forward and then runs at an angle toward the sidelines. This one is more of a quick corner route because the angle is smaller as opposed to this one, which the receiver would have more of an angle. The mirror of the corner is the post, and the post refers to the goal posts. So here the receiver runs forward and then breaks toward those goal posts, which are in the middle of the field. The wheel route is the backwards version of the out route, because here the receiver will run first toward the sidelines and then turn and run up the field. Finally, here's one that is not for wide receivers, but rather for running backs. The flat route is similar to the slant, but it's being run towards the sidelines. It doesn't even have to be at an angle. It can simply be run straight towards the sidelines. What is happening with the flat route is that the defenders will naturally be running towards the quarterback. So all the quarterback would have to do is throw a short pass over the defender's head to the running back. Now there are no rules that prohibit the wide receivers from running any type of route. As long as they stay in bounds, they can go anywhere they want. But the wide receivers have to be careful because if they stray too far from the play that is called, it might throw the quarterback off enough that he'll throw the ball where the receiver was supposed to be rather than where he went, and that wouldn't be a good thing.